Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I want to get into the potential buyout of Grubhub from Uber that we just heard right now. Also, if you'd like three free stocks when you sign up for Webull and Robinhood, check out the links in the description below. So guys, we just got news that Uber is trying to buy Grubhub after uh, we saw Uber earlier in the year trying to buy DoorDash and that kind of fell through. So what we need to look at is that Uber's one bright spot in its previous earnings after it reportedly lost $2.9 billion from its ride-sharing services is that it did great in year-over-year -year growth on its a uh, Uber Eats platform. So its Uber Eats platform grew by 89%. And Uber Eats was currently the third player in the market behind Grubhub and behind DoorDash, which controls 35% of the market for um, food delivery services. And basically we're seeing that if Grubhub and Uber Eats were basically to merge together, they would control a whopping 60% of that total market, making them the number one competitor amongst all the other um, delivery services that are available online. So this is an interesting move for Uber, and this would definitely increase the one bright spot that it had in its earnings and kind of diversify Uber's portfolio in what it has. We also saw Uber make a move last week, investing in uh, Lime, which is kind of a scooter ride company, ride sharing company. It combined Jump and Lime together, and that was part of the merger of those two companies. So we see Uber investing into that as well. So Uber's trying to diversify its portfolio because it realizes during the coronavirus pandemic that they don't have a huge stream of a diversified income. And this is important for a company that's trying to mature and trying to establish a decent return on their investments because they can't focus on just one area in these overall markets when we clearly see that the pandemic has ravaged the ride-sharing industry. So Overall, this is a decent strategic move for Uber and Grubhub, and we're seeing currently the stock price of Grubhub up 36% today. Now, if we are looking to potentially play Grubhub as a stock that we want to get into, one thing that I would offer you guys to look at would be kind of these two key areas. Now, we know that the price is overextended, and we know we never want to buy in during prices. That's something I always express in my videos, when prices shoot up. But what I'm looking at is this 618 level, around $51 and $54. So this is interesting because it kind of coincides with the 200 daily and exponential, uh, the 200 exponential and simple moving averages on the daily chart. And I think this would be a decent area because this is also aligning with the previous area of resistance. So these are kind of three indicators that I'm looking at where if Grubhub were to fall back into this area, a ladder buy-in here would be interesting because if Uber were to buy Grubhub, we might see a huge stock price pump in the near future. So we don't know what price Uber is willing to buy Grubhub at, and we know Grubhub is around $5 billion. So that'll be interesting to look at as well. So Grubhub, in my opinion, a good laddering area to start looking at would be around here, around the $54 to $51 area, with a kind of a stop loss under here, under the 200 simple moving average. And I think that would be interesting to play out, because if we were to give back even more of those gains, I would definitely not... Uh, find Grubhub as interesting because remember this isn't a done deal but Uber definitely is keen on Grubhub and we need to look at this and take that into consideration because this could be a potentially huge move for Uber. Now let's get into Uber stock price as well. So looking at Uber's chart we have to also think that yes it does look bullish at the moment but Uber still hasn't turned a profit yet in its years of operation. And I do think that yes you can you can look at Amazon and be like Amazon's the example right where Amazon wasn't profitable for several years, right, until it started to turn profitable recently. But Uber's basic strategy right now is trying to charge lower prices to try to gain a market share, but that's not going to be forever. And the thing is that we also saw Uber run into problems in England and have to shut down some of their operations over there. So I do think that Uber overall, sure, it can pump right now, but I'm not too confident in the direction because Uber is still not profitable and they had a huge loss in the recent quarter. And who knows, maybe we still have a huge loss in the next quarter, in the second quarter, right? When we're seeing easing right now, but what's going to happen later on in the summer when people aren't going out as much, right? When we don't see as much activity in the U.S. economy. I think that could potentially harm Uber, and we need to take that into consideration when looking at Uber's chart. Now, Uber's chart does look bullish, and I do think that we could see further price move it up until this region, but we are at the 200 exponential and simple moving averages. But I do like the fact that we kind of closed above here, retested back to the simple moving average, and now we're seeing a higher price. But again, this pump we're seeing right now is also with the kind of news that they're trying to merge into Grubhub. And that's kind of the overall vibe of the day that we're seeing that Grubhub and Uber are up because Uber will be more profitable in the future with a higher market share from these uh, delivery and e-delivery service platforms. 
Please like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. Leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you guys think of this. And thank you for watching. Have a great one.